Hello students, welcome back to my channel and today in our class we are going to find out the area and perimeter of a square, rectangle and a triangle. So first let us find out the area and perimeter of a square. So what is the area and perimeter of a square? This is the square and here we are going to find out the area of a square and perimeter of a square. So what is the formula for area of a square? Area of a square equals to side into side. So area of a square equals to side into side. So if one side of a square is 4 cm, we know that a square has all 4 sides equal. So the other 3 sides are also equal to 4 cm. So side into side equals to 4 cm into 4 cm which is equal to 4 4 just 16 and cm into cm is cm square. So the area of a square equals to side into side. Now we will find out the perimeter of a square. So what is the perimeter of a square? Perimeter of a square is side plus side plus side plus side which is sum of all the four sides which we write it as 4 into length of one side 4L. So if one side is 4 cm then the other three sides are also 4 cm which is 4 into L 4 cm 4 into L is 4 cm length of one side we write 4 cm and the answer is 4 for just 16 cm. So the perimeter of a square is length of all the four sides. So now we have come to know area and perimeter of a square. In the next we will find out the area and perimeter of a rectangle. So now we will find out the area of a rectangle and perimeter of a rectangle. So what is the area of a rectangle? Area of a rectangle equals to length into breadth. So this is the length of the rectangle and this side is called the breadth of the rectangle. So if the length of the rectangle is 5 cm and the breadth is 3 cm, then we have length into breadth equals to length 5 cm into breadth 3 cm. So we have here 5 trees of 15 and centimeter into centimeter is centimeter square. So the area of a rectangle equals to length into breadth. Now we will find out the perimeter of a rectangle. So what is perimeter of a rectangle? Perimeter of a rectangle is the sum of all the sides. If it is a hexagon also, this will be the sum of all the sides. The perimeter will be the sum of all the sides. So the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 length plus 2 breadth which we write as 2 length plus 2 breadth because this is 2 breadth, this is 2 length which is the sum of all the sides. 2 we take it as common and length plus breadth which is the perimeter of a rectangle. So here 2 into length we have as 5 cm plus breadth we have as 3 cm. So we write 3 cm here. Now we have 2 into 5 plus 3 is 8 cm and we have 2 is a 16 cm. So perimeter of a rectangle equals to 2 into length plus breadth. Now you have come to know the area and perimeter of a rectangle. We will find out the area and perimeter of a triangle now. So what is the area and perimeter of a triangle? Area of a triangle equals to half into base into height. So what is the base and height of a triangle we see here? This is the base of a triangle. So we have half into if this base is 4 cm 
and the height is this is the height is 5 cm then we have half into base 4 cm into height 5 cm equals to 2 to the 4 so we have 2 5 the 10 and centimeter into centimeter is centimeter square so now we will find out the perimeter of a triangle so what is the perimeter of this triangle ABC? The perimeter of this triangle ABC is side AB plus BC plus CA which is the sum of all the three sides. So the perimeter of a, this triangle we write it as AB plus BC plus CA which is the sum of all the three sides. So if AB is 5 cm and BC is 4 cm and if CA is 6 cm then the perimeter of this triangle is the sum of all these three which is 15 cm. In case of area we multiply centimeter into centimeter which is centimeter square but in case of perimeter we just write the value which is the sum of all the three. So I hope this is clear to you. If you like this video then don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hope to meet you in the next video with a new topic.